Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. Wouldn't you agree, sir? Good, go breed some more. So, um, in the last episode, you witnessed the last two testificates. I have managed to protect them and sure up their population just a little bit. There is currently, I believe, four of them, and hopefully they make a fifth. No, no fifth. Aw. We need more babies around here. No, it was just to, to help them reproduce a bit. Since apparently they reproduce faster if they're underpopulated or something. So, I'm sitting on a pile of copper dust and a pile of tin dust. I left one behind of each just so I can talk as I macerate. Um, there's a new substance that can be made out of both copper and tin. Now, if anyone's played RuneScape, they already know what I'm talking about. It is, of course, bronze. Bronze has, in fact, the same property as iron, in most things, at least. Um, in, except it's slightly better than iron in one way. It lasts 30% longer than iron tools and armor. It's the same strength in every way and all that, but, you know. Alright then. So, let's make some copper. Boop, boop. Boom, 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 boom. Or, not make copper, make bronze. And now I've got 32 bronze dust. There's no such thing as bronze ore, obviously. But you see, now I can simply do this. Into the electric furnace you go, and put some coal in to keep it going. And I get a shiny bronze ingot. Now, I have some sticks around here, right? I hope. Well, if not, I've got a pile of wood. So, make some sticks, one, two, um, yeah, all right, yeah, whatever, that should be enough. I was just trying to do some weird counting in my head that completely failed. <laughs> Bronze pick. Bronze sword. No bronze axe? What? Oh. <laughs> right, the bronze spear is apparently reversed for the axe. Or it doesn't have the work both ways thing. I need some more coal, but I'll take that in the meantime. Let's toss in nether coal to the generator. And a bronze shovel. I'm not going to bother making a bronze hoe or anything, but I think my iron hoe will last a sufficiently long time. There we go, so I have a set of bronze tools. Now, what do I need? I still need pants. So now I've got some bronze legs. And I can make boots out of this for iron. Or for bronze, I mean. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Bronze Age. This stuff is pretty good. Toss some more coal in the generator.
I think my iron armor is doing mesh. The iron helmet could use a bit of a replacement soon. But anyway. Fields of wheat. I'll worry about that later, though. For now, I need to top off my torches. 64. All right. And down we go into the depths. Now I need to remember which way I have to go. That's always the tricky part for me. I want to go back down to the diamond level and see if I can continue, continue searching down there for diamonds or anything, but... Hmm. Plenty of copper and tin around for more bronze. Well, when in doubt, head down. Eventually I'll find a branch that I haven't explored yet, hopefully. Hmm. Ah, yes, here we go. Now it's all coming back to me. I need to explore the rest of this. I cleared out the spawners already, so I think I'm safe. From, uh, at least the, uh, spiders. Other stuff could have easily spawned, I suppose, in the dark areas. Or there could just be more spider spawners. Well, I haven't been this way. Let's go this way. And there's the more stuff in the darkness. There's some lava. That caved in, and that's a cave. like we have some diamond, I would say. Uh-huh. Seems safe. Oh shh. And that, folks, is why you never dig straight down. Ag. Burn. All right, close calls, close calls all around. But hey, I got two diamond out of that. Whew. Can I see any more? No, and I didn't bring a water bucket. I will need to bring a water bucket at some point. Because I don't want to go any farther that way. That was too close for comfort. Oh boy. Not enough for a pick, though. Sadly. I mean, I'm never actually going to use a diamond pick, probably. Now, some, now you're all asking, why would you never use a pick? Well, I'll make a pick, but I guarantee I'll never use it. I would much rather put it into something called a quarry, but I'm pretty sure, I'm since I need 11 diamonds to make one of those, that's at least several episodes away. More redstone, always useful in industrial craft. And a skeleton. Uh, got them. I'm sure at some point I'm going to be setting up a nuclear reactor, so... Ooh, to uranium. Sweet. 
Uh, I'm sure this will come in handy at some point. Dead end, okay. Still got more to explore. And I do believe, yeah, we're definitely at the diamond level, so... Gotta keep my eyes out. <sighs> yeah, I should have brought a bucket with me. Get somewhere with the lava. Or I could take the risky walk. No. In you go. Or not. Alright. Hmm. Ag, I hate skeletons. Of course, the game knows that, so that's all it ever throws at me for all eternity. Oh, hi, Mr. Creeper. This is why I like Enderman fighting. Because they, I mean, teleport around. You have to keep your wits about you. Because you know what? Suddenly they're behind you. Like, I'm not sure if that means, like, Endermen are... Is that why people are scared? Or personally, I like that. I mean, that makes them a good fight. I mean, as you can see, it's just basically bum-rushing everything else. Since you, you know, outrange all the mobs in the game. I just... I don't really understand it. Endermen I like. They're a good fight. They are a fun fight. Because they actually challenge you a bit. But I don't... But I don't think they can really do that much to kill me, so... At least one of them can't. That well, anyway. So, I don't really fear them. Like I said, I mean, skeletons, if a skeleton catches me off guard, then, uh, I have the potential to lose a lot more health than I would if an Enderman. And at least Enderman, you know, they don't ever catch you off guard. You pretty much have to initiate a fight with them. Killing skeletons in the dark, I think. Yeah, alright, he's dead. Oof. And a dead end. Ugh. One of these days I'm going to have to learn to use a bow, aren't I? And it will be a sad, sad day for me. I don't want to have to learn to use a bow. Wah, wah, wah. Well, I suppose I should go this way. There we are. Clear out the water. Hmm. Have I come this way already? Yeah, I would have had to. This is way too well lit. Or is this the way I got in there? I don't know. It's Oh well, let's dig through this gravel cascade and keep exploring. Are we still at diamond level? Yeah, pretty much. Nice dead end. All around, lovely. Alright, and moving on. Well, I can't help but explore this a bit. Yep, there's diamonds here somewhere. And I can feel them in my bones. Alright, and... Yeah, this entire ridge is unsafe, to say the least. I can theoretically surf this this way and 
And then I'm gonna get myself over here. There's gotta be diamonds in here somewhere. I mean, a place this dangerous wouldn't exist without diamonds being put here to lure stupid people like me. Um, I need to be better equipped for things like this. Oh, let's use gravel. Yeah, I think that's about as far as I can drag that. Still can't really see any. Uh, can't really see any diamonds yet, though. Let's go this way, then. Well, at least there's always more caves to explore. Heck. And more skeletons for the game to throw at me. And more dead ends for the game to shove me in. At the bottom of the world, trying to find diamonds. Ugh. All right. First things first, I seriously need to block this thing off. Oof, let's get a torch down so I can see. Well, that fixes that. Kind of surfed out for some more obsidian. Kind of cool. Not touching the redstone. I feel like it's booby trapped. Booby trapped with lava. Getting somewhere. Oh wow, well, we're just yeah, twelve. No diamonds. Although, I think we found more caving. Or more mineshaft. Huh. Yeah, I didn't get exactly very far, did I now? Oh boy. All the same underground lava pool, I suppose. That's the way back, so... Alright, let's head down here. Remember, there should be more unexplored area. Yeah. Definitely more unexplored area. And more area for me to end up dead somehow. Hag. Oh no, it's a full spider. Well, that's an interesting predicament you're in there. It would be a shame if someone were to kill you right now. I know that joke's ever used, but for some reason it just felt like the right time to use it. I apologize to everyone. Although, this kind of does block the path to maybe more mineshaft to explore and maybe more diamonds to find. 
Ah, uh, yes, more diamonds to find indeed. Let's secure the general perimeter. Ah, yes, it's a big room where all mine shafts allegedly start or something. Jeb was talking about that. Whoa. Okay, the diamonds are booby trapped. Good to know. Guess I have to go down after them. that way. Hey, yes, here they are. Nice little water spring. I still haven't encountered any mine trap chests. I mean, it'd be really convenient if I found one and there happened to be, like, a bucket in it. I'd do well if there was, if I haven't run into that. It'd be really nice. Kind of weird. Just but oh well. Now let's head towards these spiders. Can't tell if it's a uh Oh, we're at bedrock. Can't tell if it's a spider spawner though. Like a cave spider spawner. <coughs> but if mine shafts branch out from that big room that uh, I found back there somewhere. I guess that means there's more shaft to explore if I had that way. Now I just wish I wasn't running out of torches. And just some uranium here. We're definitely at diamond level. No question about that. So. Ooh, I should probably plug that hole. I feel like if I just kind of... Somewhere nearby... Right around here or something. Yeah, I think it's over here. It's getting louder. I mean, I must be on the right track. Alright, how about down? Sounds like it's coming from somewhere around here. No to self, I suck at echolocation in Minecraft. Fun lots of uranium though. Maybe it's above me? Well, that's a guess. Alright, so I need to get back up. Or, wait, am I already up? I forget. No, I'm not. I'm not on the high level. Ah, I see. I think if I go... Well, I think it connects in over there. Okay. Ah, there you are. Ack. Well played, spider. Well played. 
now let's hopefully not die. So, they only spawn from spawners. If memory serves. And judging by the amount of hissing there is, yeah, there is probably a spawner nearby. Damn it, no. Stop doing that. Actually, yeah, I might actually want to do that in mind. Ag, where the hell did you come from? Ah, am I, like, not seeing something? Am I just blind or something? I mean, that's all a possibility. My track, re track record for paying attention, <laughs> as I fall through the floor, is pretty poor. Now, where'd you come from, you little bastard? Ah. Oh, ho, ho. Yeesh. Well, I've stumbled onto the hornet's nest. There we go. Even my bronze sword is running out. Nope. Alright. Well, I guess that takes care of that spawner. for bronze. My iron sword would be dead right now, actually. Because he can't shoot me when he's tangled in webs. Strange, but okay. Some lapis. Still 17. We could find diamond. But I'm running out of torches, so... I think I'm going to have to call off my expedition. like it. Wait, I have a pile of coal on me. And a pile of wood. Alright, that'll make a pile of coal, or no, I mean a pile of torches. Alright, so the expedition can use. Even if I do run out of wood, I mean, I'm in an abandoned mine shaft. I have tons of wood available to me. Oops. Alright, so about here the mine shaft seems to give way into a cave. Or is this a ravine? I think it's a ravine. Very small. No. Let's not go that way. My, sh my, my, my sword can't take it. I could forge a new sword down here, I suppose. But I, I mean, I don't have access to my tools, so I could only make iron, but eh, it's an option. Gotta keep my options open. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess it's the right way to go. Oop. 
And you're good. Or dead. Or whatever. Alright. Several skeletons. Okay. Take care of them. Like I said, I'm sitting around at like diamond level. Kind of annoying that I'm not finding anything. Back. Well, there's a cave. Or now the ravine just continues, it seems. Hmm. Though this looks like it gives way into a cave. Though we're at a diamond territory now, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Way too high for that. Oh well, five diamonds isn't that bad a haul, I suppose. I mean, I could just, I guess, start making industrial diamonds. I mean, those are always fun. Turn basically a stack of coal into a diamond. Oof. Or just explore more. Okay. Oof. Well, that explains the uh, number of skeletons nearby, I suppose. Ooh, some bread. Some iron, some wheat. Let's kill you, I don't want you. And coca beans. I'm gonna take those. Well, the gunpowder and string should probably stack. Yeah, I have too much string. Too many bones. Don't ever need spider eye for anything. Can't craft wheat. I can't craft bread here, though. Darn. At least I have some more food now. And if anyone wants to yell at me in the comments calling me greedy, go right ahead. I know I'm greedy as heck in Minecraft. Alright, I punch you to death then. Alright. There we are. Yes, I am just waiting for the karma train. There it is. Knock me into the lava. Ah. And that's the car. Aw, man. My home bed was missing or obstructed. Well, that's the karma train for you. I really do need to become less greedy. Well, I guess this is enough for an episode. Uh, I'm gonna go look for my body. Feel free to like if you love my failures, and if you want to keep and you, if you want to see how far I can get with this, uh, feel free to sub to me. This is Kelvin signing off.